Okay, well, good morning. Um, welcome to this information session on the MyTax Global Link Research Award. So thank you all for joining us today. My name is Sylvie Jason. I am the International Projects Coordinator in the Office of Carleton International. The office is under the umbrella of the VP of Research. So we are a research oriented unit. My role involves coordinating research mobility programs. These are basically funding opportunities for short-term research visits at an institution abroad. The MyTax Global Link Research Award, or GRA, is one of the programs that I coordinate, and it is specifically for travel by students, either senior undergrads um, or graduate level, and as well as postdoctoral fellows. So the program funds both outbound and inbound mobility. So Carleton students going abroad, as well as visiting student researchers from abroad coming to Carleton. In both cases, the duration of the visits, uh, sorry, uh, uh, sorry, in, um, in both cases, the duration of the visits and the funding provided are the same. The funding comes from MyTax which is a Canadian organization that works with universities across the country to offer students and postdocs paid internships, either through placements in private industry or through international mobility. Uh, they have various programs. Uh, I'd encourage everyone to go check out their website. Um, and some of the programs are under the Global Link umbrella, which are specifically geared towards international experience. So I have two speakers from my tax joining me today. Um, Etienne Pinot, the Director of International Business Development on my tax. Etienne manages the entire GRA program and works with all the universities across Canada that partner with my tax to offer this specific opportunity. We also have Fernanda Mendonca, who is a business development specialist at MyTax, but works specifically on site at Carleton and with Carleton researchers to develop projects and assist with applications. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, so today, Etienne will introduce the GRA program and how it works. He will talk about it in very general terms. I will discuss the benefits of the program for recipients and supervisors, as well as the application procedures at Carleton. And Fernanda will finish off um, by talking a little bit about the kind of support she provides to Carleton faculty and students. And then we will open the floor to questions. So I will now turn things over to Etienne. Etienne, the floor is yours. Thank you, Sylvie, and good morning, everyone. Uh, happy to be here, especially because I'm going on vacation tonight. So <laughs> this is my last day with you all. Uh, I'll start by talking about the program in very general terms. Uh, so next slide, please. Yeah, so the first thing I want to clarify is, as Sylvie said, Globalink is a bit of an umbrella where three programs at MyTax uh, exist. Uh, most common programs that you may know are the GRA and the GRI program. So today we're really talking about the Global Link Research Award Program, GRA. But you might have heard of the other big Global Link program, which is a GRI, the Global Link Research Internship. So just in a nutshell, so uh, we differentiate both. The GRI program is the MyTax Global Link uh, program that happens in the summer. It's only inbound to Canada. There's a whole matchmaking system that exists where professors are posting projects, students are applying on these projects, and then there's a matchmaking that happens. So that's uh, very GRI. GRA is the, the other global link that we're talking today, and that's bilateral. Uh, next slide, please. So as uh, Sylvie said in the introduction, uh, GRA is an international program uh, that aims to develop projects between universities uh, in the list of eligible countries. So it's open to senior undergraduate, graduate students, and postdoctoral fellows. Uh, the standard award amount is $6,000, and the research duration is 12 to 24 weeks, either in Canada or abroad. Uh, for each of these projects, there's always two supervisors, so one uh, at Carlton and one from the host institution or home institution uh, outside the country. 
Uh, it's open to really all disciplines, so there's no uh, there's no requirements on that front. Uh, yes. So next slide, please. So MyTax has a network of international partners, and there's also a list of eligible countries and region. And I'll explain a bit later what's what's the difference uh, between these two lists and how to access it. Uh, so we have 27 international partners or international organization. Those can be a university, they can be a research lab. Sometimes they're governmental organizations that cover many institutions. So we'll see the list uh, just a bit after. Uh, and there's also a longer list of eligible countries and, re and regions where it's possible to either go or to uh, receive a student or an intern from that country. Next slide, please. So here you have written in very small, a list of, oh, actually 28, I didn't change the first slide. Uh, this is the list of our international partners. Uh, it's written in small, but you also have that information on our website with more information on, on each international partners. But in a nutshell, we have partners in Belgium, Brazil, China, in France, Germany, India, Israel, and so on. So there's quite a nice uh, diversity of partners. And for each of these partners, you have, uh, as I said, specific requirements that you can uh, find on our website because sometimes that partner will cover only one travel direction. Sometimes there are specific requirements for the intern level. Um, they may have like, certain strength or um, priorities in certain research fields. So all that information um, is available on the website. Uh, next slide, please. And here you have the list of all the countries and regions uh, where it's possible to do a project. Uh, and again, that's also on our website. So I won't go through all, but you can see here that the, it's, quite, uh, it's quite extensive as well. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, yes, so I just, we just saw that uh, there was international partners and that there is also a list of countries. That's a little bit how the program works. So there's, I would say two streams. One where projects uh, can be done with any university in the list of eligible countries, and the other stream that is with our international partners, so the shorter list that we saw first. Um, the first stream uh, is, uh, is requiring that the professor in Canada co-fund $2,000 per intern, and uh, we also need a co-funding agreement with the Canadian institution. So at Carlton, there's an agreement. So let's say you're a student or you're a professor, you can submit a proposal for a project either inbound or outbound with any university in the big list of countries and region. But there is a co-funding that's required for these projects. That's the first stream. The second stream is, as I said, with international partners. So for these projects, there's no co-funding required. So yes, we, it's a shorter list, uh, but if uh, your project fits with one of these partners, then uh, there's no limit per Carlton. So there's no limitation in terms of projects that can be submitted. And the professor in Canada doesn't have to pay anything. So it's free uh, and it's there's no limit, as I said. Um, maybe another thing to mention is for international partners, sometimes you have bigger word amounts. Sometimes the duration might differ a little bit. So there's a, there's a few things that are not standard. So if you're interested in one of our international partners, please go on the website, look at all the, the data that's there for each partners to know what's exactly the projects uh, with these partner, how to submit, is it a call, is it open all year? So all this data uh, is on the website. Uh, next slide, please. Yeah, so now it's uh, back to Sylvie. Thank you. Oh, you're muted, Sylvie. Whoops, thank you. <laughs> Sorry, Etienne, thanks. Um, all right, next slide, please, Fernanda. Oh, next slide. Thank you. So um, Carlton has been offering the MyTax GRA to our students since 2014. Since then, we have had 48 successful awardees with 39 of those as outbound projects. 
Our students have gone on research visits to Turkey, India, China, Australia, various countries in Europe and Latin America or the US. Uh, the feedback I received has been overwhelmingly positive. And a few of these students have participated in the research mobility symposium that our office organized last year um, as a virtual event. So I have included a link here to the program and would encourage all of you to check out the videos that are there. We recorded all of the sessions. Uh, many of them have uh, students who have gone abroad and they talk about their experiences. So I encourage all of you to check these out. Um, next slide, please. In terms of the benefits for recipients, this can include the chance to work with leading experts in your field, also conducting primary research for your thesis at archives, libraries, or museums abroad. You can work in a lab related to your research area with resources that Carlton may not uh, have here or conduct interviews with the people directly connected to your subject matter. I once had a GRA recipient in an MA program who was writing about the debate around abortion in Ireland and she was able to go to Ireland and actually talk to the activists there and leaders of organizations, um, other academics um, and other people directly involved in the debate there, which greatly enriched her research and her thesis and had a major impact on her understanding of the topic that she would not have gained otherwise. So this international experience uh, really contributed to both her professional and her personal growth. And you can hear her story um, in one of the symposium videos. So it's a perfect time as a grad student to take advantage of these opportunities. It's also something to add to your CV. It can lead to a publication, uh, like a joint publication with the, the researcher you are working with or a long-term professional relationship with other researchers abroad. And although the funding is for students and postdocs to travel, this program also has uh, benefits for faculty supervisors as well. Next slide, please. So faculty can send students to work with an international partner abroad, someone they are already collaborating with and have an existing research project, or someone with whom they are seeking to build a partnership with. And it's a way to test things out. I know several faculty who have repeatedly supervised students under my tax awards, both outbound and inbound, as a means to build and strengthen international partnerships and or work on joint projects. It's a way to also make international connections between labs and research groups. Uh, also, and I, I believe, and Etienne maybe uh, would, might need to correct me if I'm wrong, um, because we haven't had a lot of projects like this, but I believe the GRE program allows for multiple students to work on the same project, though they would need to apply separately. Etienne, am I correct on that? Well, yeah, uh, technically today, this is the reality, but uh, we should be announcing, if it's not today, next week, a new application package with multiple interns. Uh, so very soon it will be possible to submit one proposal with up to five interns. And the interns can be both inbound and outbound in the same project. So that will allow uh, a little bit bigger projects and a bit more strategic. So it's coming soon. Excellent, excellent. So that's, uh, yeah, that's a new and exciting uh, development um, and uh, really useful for professors with big projects where they could use uh, a lot of young researchers on board. So several students, either inbound or outbound or both, can work on larger existing international projects. Also, my tax offers uh, matchmaking support specifically for faculty with a new tool called the Research Request for International Collaboration. This is a form for professors who already have a project in mind and an idea of an institutional partner or country where they want to collaborate. Um, and my tax can assist in finding a, a specific collaborator through that network. The first step is to contact me directly as the process is facilitated through the international office. So for more information on that, uh, please get in touch with me directly offline. Next slide, please. 
Also, I want to mention um, that in addition to the general GRA that we're talking about here, Carlton also offers the MyTax Calario GRA. Um, and I, again, include a link here to the information page. This program is specifically for travel between Canada and Latin America, with five countries as eligible destinations, Colombia, Brazil, Argentina, Chile, and Mexico. And this is actually is for outbound and inbound as well. So students from these countries can come to Carleton and be hosted uh, by a professor here. This program has less units available, but other parameters are exactly the same as the general GRA, the funding, the duration of stay, eligibility. Um, the only difference is that it's kind of limited to these countries and we have um, a smaller number of units available. And the application process is, uh, is the same largely. Uh, okay, next slide, please. So now we are turning to the application procedures at Carleton. Next slide. Oh. Great. Um, I mentioned that there are certain units available with the Calario GRA. As Etienne pointed out earlier, Carlton has an agreement with MyTax for a particular number of units per year that we can award. Currently, the number exceeds the number of, of awards we've had in a single year in the past, meaning we have never run out of awards in a year before. So if you have looked at the web page for the program, and I include the link here, um, you'll see that it's an open call. There's no deadline. I think I included the link, or oh, maybe not. Um, uh, but you can find it on our website. Uh, so like I said, there's no deadline. It's an open call. If we ever get more applications than we have units, we would need to close the competition for the year and open it up um, in the next fiscal year, but we've never had to do that yet. And during the application, um, or sorry, during the pandemic applications slowed down considerably. So at the moment there is no deadline um, and you can apply at any time. Now the first step, if you're interested in applying would be to find a host or supervisor you wanna work with abroad. There may be an expert in your field you wanna work with or a lab you wanna join, or maybe your Carleton supervisor has an international partner they would like to connect you with. Work with your Carleton supervisor on this because they need to be involved, as does the host. They should both help you with the application and they need to sign the application form. But before you fill out an application, you first need to complete the preliminary form that is provided on the Carleton GRA website. This is an internal form to Carleton. You submit this to me and Carlton International does the initial screening to approve the use of one of our units. Note that you need a project and your project has to fit with one of Carlton's research priorities. These are listed on the webpage for the GRA program on um, the Carlton website or the Carlton International website. And you need to explain in the preliminary form how your work fits into one of these categories. However, when you look at them, there are several, they are quite broad. So there uh, many projects are able to be accommodated. Okay, next slide, please. So once you send this preliminary form to me and it's approved, and this is usually a quick process, I send you the MyTax application package for you to complete. Um, this will take some time. There's an application form and a proposal template to fill out. Um, uh, the way it's worked is that it also involved a CV template, letters from your supervisor and host to provide. However, Tian just <laughs> will be announcing soon and just told me that there's, there's going to be changes and that's going to be reduced significantly to just two forms, the application form and the proposal uh, template. So that's yeah. great for everyone. Maybe, maybe I can just add that uh, yeah. technically this should be available either tonight or next week. Uh, so instead of seven documents, it will be only two. So that will facilitate uh, a lot the 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 written of the writing down the proposal and uh, also submitting. So there will be less missing documents and so on. So hopefully this will encourage more people to apply. Uh, yes. But but if you have started a proposal in the old package, you will have until March 31st 
uh, to change to the new one if ever you're already too far advanced in your proposal. But but the new package is coming very soon. So, yeah. so that's that's excellent. Um, a lot less work for everyone. Uh, but nevertheless, this often takes students, you know, some time to complete because you do have to put a, a good, robust uh, proposal together. Uh, this could take a good month or two to put together. You ne need to send me the complete package and I secure the institutional signature on the form, then send everything to my tax for review. So it goes through me before it's sent to my tax. That review process, uh, my tax is review process often takes two to three months. So when you are thinking about your travel dates, consider this time frame. You can't send me a package in November for a trip in December. That's simply not going to happen. Uh, so uh, you need to plan in advance. Note, though, that this program does have a high success rate. I've never had any applications that were rejected. Um, so that's, that's a good sign. And once you are approved, there is paperwork to complete and send to my tax as the funder. So to complete some of that paperwork, you will need to schedule a pre-departure orientation with me. Once all the paperwork is submitted to my tax, they will issue a notice of award and release the funds to Carlton. And I will also assist with the payment process. Next slide, please. Also, once you are officially approved for an award, you have one year from the date of the letter of approval to travel. So if something comes up and you can't travel right away, you need to adjust your dates, you can delay your travel up to one year. Uh, during COVID, we had several awards that had to be delayed and put on hold. And uh, only this winter, we started procedures for travel again with things moving pretty slowly as we're starting up. So currently outbound travel is being approved on a case by case basis. Anyone interested in international tra travel must receive approval from your Dean. University restrictions and guidelines are outlined in the travel advisories webpage, which is linked here. I will now turn things over to Fernanda, the MyTax rep who is on site at Carleton. Fernanda, over to you. Thank you, Sylvie. Uh, hello, everyone. So as Sylvie uh, presented me, I am the uh, MyTax business development specialist and I am working directly with Carleton. So I'm totally dedicated to Carleton projects. And especially on the GRA, uh, we have a very well-oiled machine uh, with the international office, uh, especially with Sylvie. So we work uh, very well together. Uh, and I guess that uh, there is a lot of things that Sylvie already mentioned that we can help with. But at the end, we are uh, working together towards the end of the, the until the submission of the application. So the ways that we that I could help you uh, if you're interested on applying to, to GRA, uh, I could help you to check the eligibility of the International University or Institute, although Sylvie will be the best connection at Carleton to give you a final answer on if the institute you are thinking about going abroad uh, or the institute that you are thinking about his receiving any interns here in Canada would be eligible. And uh, once uh, you have the, the approval, the pre-approval from Carl the Carlton International Office, we could also help you with the application package. So as it was mentioned today, it seems that it will become much more easier now, but we still have uh, to provide the research proposal. So it's good if you could send us this research proposal before getting the final signatures, because we need to make sure that it is good to go. It is under our guidelines. Uh, these proposals, they will go to external review. So we want to make sure that the, this review will go smoothly and that we will not have any problems and any delays on this process. Uh, so once we have all the documents that we need, uh, I will work together with Sylvie and we will get the signature from the from Carlton International. 
And then Sylvie will send the packet, will send the packet to me to submit the application. So as I mentioned in one of the questions, uh, it takes about, and Sylvie also mentioned, it takes about two to three months for us to hear back uh, because it's an international uh, program. Uh, we also have to check uh, with the reviewers if they would be available to review the project. So it can take uh, some time. But, uh, and if you have any questions before, the, before submitting a project or as someone uh, asked in the chat, how do we track, keep track of the submissions? I would be the main point of contact for my tech. So I would be able to check uh, the, the status of an application and see how long it's been in the, on the review uh, and so on. So I am uh, putting here my two email addresses. I have the my tax email and I have also the Carlton email account that might be easier for you to find me in your email list. And feel free to reach out to me and Sylvie and we will be happy to answer any questions you might have. So I am wrapping up the presentation now and I would like to thank you all for your presence here today. Thank you, Etienne, and thank you, Sylvie, for this work that we put together. And now we are open to questions. Uh, feel free to put them in the chat or feel free to open your mic and uh, ask anything. So thank you, everyone. Thank you, Fernanda. And um, I'm just going to stop recording. So.